Okay, so I'm just going to talk to you quickly about the three different construction types uh, that you can get in burn helmets. Uh, first off, you've got the hard hat. Which is available in the Macon, the Watts, the Baker, the Lennox, uh, the Brighton and the Muse. It's a multi-impact uh, foam, which you can see here is a little bit squishy. It's quite malleable, so it moulds your head nicely. It's really comfortable to wear uh, and it's breathable, uh, so uh, you don't get a sweaty head um, and it's comfortable all day. It isn't fully certified for, for concrete and snow sports use, uh, but in our opinion it is pretty much perfect for, for snowboarding and skiing because most people are going to have uh, s uh, slightly lower impact um, it, collisions but they're going to be more frequent so uh, a multi-impact helmet is exactly what you're going to what you're going to need there. Next one is EPS which again is available in the Watts, the Baker, the Macon, the Muse, the Lennox and the Brighton. It's the industry standard foam um, so it's fully certified for snow sports, concrete sports, and using on your bike. Uh, it's a hard black expanded polystyrene, uh, so it hasn't really got any give to it, but it offers incredible protection. Uh, but if you do have uh, an impact, uh, it does crack the lining, which is uh, what it's designed to do, because uh, that's where the, the energy is taken. Um, but you do have to um, replace the helmet once that's happened. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not very malleable, so it's, uh, it's not quite as comfortable as the Brock foam, um, but it does offer that little bit more protection. The third model is um, the uh, Zip Mold, uh, which is only available on the, uh, the Brentwood and the Berkeley. What this is, is it's EPS foam on the inside, but it's uh, been created in a slightly different way uh, to make it incredibly lightweight and, and a lot thinner. What they do is they have the EPS foam and then the shell is actually sprayed onto, uh, onto the foam rather than bolted on like the, the other two helmets. So you get this really nice smooth, um, smooth finish uh, and it's really thin, really lightweight, offers all the protection of the EPS uh, but in a much lighter helmet so you, you hardly feel like you've got it on. So there we go, that's the three different construction types of burn helmets. If you've got any questions about any of that, give us a call and we'll be happy to help.